Florida, a state globally renowned for its sun-drenched beaches, tranquil coastlines, and idyllic vacation spots, found itself at the center of an alarming and unexpected geological mystery. What began as an ordinary day along the Gulf Coast quickly transformed into a scene of confusion and unease. Beachgoers, lifeguards, and local authorities were all caught off guard by a strange and unexplained shift in the color of the water near the shore. Initially dismissed as a potential case of pollution or toxic algae bloom, the situation grew more perplexing as experts were brought in to investigate. As tests ruled out known contaminants, the mystery deepened and attention turned toward what lay beneath the surface. Divers were dispatched to explore the area in greater detail, and what they encountered redefined assumptions about Florida's geological landscape. Beneath the layers of sand, they found a series of immense volcanic-like formations, structures that resembled ancient monuments rising from the sea floor. These weren't simply rock formations. Their scale, structure, and characteristics all pointed to a geological anomaly previously hidden from sight. Conical peaks, columnar shapes, and a subtle but distinct sulfuric odor painted a picture of possible geothermal activity. The sensation of the ground subtly trembling beneath them intensified the divers' concerns, raising the question of whether they had stumbled upon a dormant or possibly awakening underwater volcano. Florida, typically known for its flat terrain composed largely of sedimentary rocks like limestone, is not a region associated with volcanic activity. This discovery, therefore, was not just unexpected, it was unprecedented. The very idea that a volcanic system could lie beneath its waters seemed implausible until physical evidence emerged to suggest otherwise. As the divers continued their exploration, they noted sparse marine life in the surrounding area. This absence further hinted at an abnormal environment, possibly due to toxic gases or elevated temperatures, both of which are indicative of geothermal anomalies. Scientific teams quickly moved to analyze the data, measuring heat levels and monitoring for gas emissions. The findings supported suspicions that the seafloor was exhibiting geothermal properties, and that the structures might be more than inert geological formations. The temperature of the surrounding water increased slightly as it neared the base of these formations, strengthening the theory that some kind of geothermal force was at work. Small gas bubbles escaped from cracks in the seafloor, a subtle but undeniable sign of underlying volcanic or tectonic activity. The implications of such a discovery were vast. If an underwater volcano were indeed forming or becoming active, it posed a potential threat not only to the immediate marine environment, but also to the densely populated coastlines of Florida. Underwater volcanic eruptions, while often hidden from direct view, can produce devastating effects. They can displace vast volumes of water, leading to tsunamis capable of causing immense destruction along coastal areas. Historical precedents exist. Krakatoa's eruption in 1883 is a prime example, where an underwater volcanic event led to a catastrophic tsunami that claimed tens of thousands of lives. Florida's long and low-lying coastline makes it particularly vulnerable to such oceanic disturbances. Moreover, underwater eruptions can release hazardous gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, which, in high concentrations, can alter marine ecosystems and present risks to human health. These gases can rise rapidly to the surface and, in some instances, form deadly gas clouds that drift ashore. The discovery of sulfur-like smells near the formation site was a red flag, suggesting the release of volcanic gases that could be a sign of activity beneath the ocean floor. The question then emerged, how could such a geological feature exist in a region long considered geologically stable and volcanically inactive? The answer may lie buried deep in Earth's ancient history. Florida was once part of the supercontinent Pangaea, and as the land masses split and drifted apart, remnants of ancient volcanic systems may have been buried under layers of sediment. These buried systems could lie dormant for millennia, undetectable until shifts in tectonic stress or other geological changes awaken them. The existence of fault lines beneath Florida has long been debated among geologists, and this new discovery could provide evidence of an unmapped or previously unknown fault system beneath the state. Similar cases from around the world reinforce the seriousness of such findings. In 2011, the Canary Islands experienced a series of underwater tremors and gas emissions that led to the discovery of a volcanic eruption occurring just off the coast. The eruption not only formed a new volcanic cone beneath the sea, but also forced beach closures and evacuations. In another example, the Campi Flegre Caldera beneath Italy's Bay of Naples, widely regarded as one of the most dangerous volcanic systems on Earth, Earth remains a source of frequent concern, with authorities occasionally closing beaches and issuing warnings when seismic activity increases. Alaska's Aleutian Islands are also known for underwater volcanic activity, and eruptions there have reshaped the ocean floor and triggered powerful tsunamis. These global incidents underline a crucial reality. Just because a region isn't currently known for volcanic activity doesn't mean it is immune from it. Geological processes often occur on scales and time spans far beyond human perception. In Florida's case, the discovery of this underwater formation has sparked widespread scientific and public interest. News outlets have broadcast images of the ominous structures, and debates have arisen over what steps should be taken to understand and monitor the situation. The idea that Florida could be sitting atop a geological time bomb is no longer a far-fetched theory. It's a scenario that demands urgent exploration. The broader implications extend to Florida's infrastructure, emergency preparedness, and scientific research. Unlike regions such as Hawaii, which are accustomed to monitoring and responding to volcanic activity, Florida lacks the systems and protocols needed to address such a threat. The potential for a tsunami, gas leak, or underwater landslide brings into question the state 
state's readiness for a geological disaster. Furthermore, the discovery has shifted the focus of researchers to re-examine other stable areas that might be hiding similar features. The ocean floor remains one of the least explored regions on Earth, and what lies beneath the waves may challenge long-held assumptions about tectonic and volcanic activity. Public curiosity has surged as well. The mysterious nature of the discovery, combined with the dramatic imagery of dark volcanic structures looming beneath the sea, has fueled speculation and awe. People are asking whether this formation is a one-off anomaly or the first sign of a more extensive underwater volcanic system. Could there be more such features hidden under the sands and waters off the coast? Is this the beginning of a broader geological awakening that will reshape our understanding of Florida's natural history? The possibility of this being part of a larger, connected system introduces yet another layer of intrigue. If these formations are linked to a deeper fault line or a submerged volcanic chain, the implications would not be limited to Florida alone. Seismic energy can travel great distances through the Earth's crust, and disruptions in one area can trigger activity in another. Mapping and studying this newfound structure is not just a local concern. It is a priority for geologists and disaster preparedness agencies around the world. Equally important is the ecological impact. Marine biologists are closely monitoring the changes in marine life patterns near the formation. The abnormal scarcity of fish and coral in the vicinity has raised alarms. Ecosystems are sensitive to temperature, chemical composition, and geological disturbances. If the underwater environment continues to change, it could have long-lasting effects on local biodiversity, fisheries, and the health of the surrounding marine environment. What makes this discovery so unsettling is not merely the presence of volcanic features, but the unpredictability it represents. The ocean, long viewed as a relatively stable and passive environment around Florida, is now revealing signs of hidden dynamism. Nature has a way of reminding us that we are not in control, and that the forces shaping our planet operate on a scale that transcends human timelines and boundaries. The event has also highlighted gaps in our current scientific knowledge. The vastness of the ocean means that many geological structures remain uncharted. Sophisticated sonar mapping, thermal imaging, and underwater drone exploration are now being proposed as tools to further investigate the area. These technologies may uncover additional clues or reveal more such formations along Florida's seabed. In the process, they could rewrite much of what we thought we knew about the region's geology. The event has also highlighted gaps in our current scientific knowledge. The vastness of the ocean means that many geological structures remain uncharted. Sophisticated sonar mapping, thermal imaging, and underwater drone exploration are now being proposed as tools to further investigate the area. These technologies may uncover additional clues or reveal more such formations along Florida's seabed. In the process, they could rewrite much of what we thought we knew about the region's geology. Educational institutions and research organizations are taking a keen interest, using the incident as a case study in geology, oceanography, and disaster science. Science. Students and professionals alike are drawn to the real-time unfolding of a mystery that combines scientific exploration with the very real possibility of natural disaster. The event is a live demonstration of how unexpected discoveries can ignite entire fields of research and reshape public consciousness. The reaction among local residents has been mixed, ranging from intrigue and scientific curiosity to concern and fear. The potential for disruption, both environmental and societal, looms large. Coastal communities are particularly vulnerable to oceanic events, and the prospect of underwater volcanic activity adds a new level layer of anxiety for those living near the sea. Emergency services have begun reviewing protocols, and some municipalities have even conducted drills to prepare for worst-case scenarios. Meanwhile, scientists remain cautious. While preliminary findings support the theory of geothermal activity, definitive conclusions require more data. Sampling the rock, measuring long-term gas emissions, and monitoring for seismic tremors are essential next steps. Only through sustained research can the true nature of the formation be determined. Whether it is a dormant volcano, a relic of ancient geological processes, or something entirely new to science, this discovery has the potential to usher in a new era of oceanic exploration, one driven by the recognition that even familiar coastlines can hide profound and powerful forces. It challenges us to look deeper, to question what we know, and to prepare for possibilities we hadn't considered. In doing so, it reminds us that beneath the surface of our world, ancient giants may still be stirring, waiting for their stories to be told.